We cannot wait for people to see this brewery when it is completed. A promise well kept. Today, Gail Benson announced Dixie Beer officially coming back to the Crescent City. She and her late husband, Tom Benson, brought Dixie Brewing Company last January, and they vowed to bring it back to New Orleans. WDSU anchor Christina Watkins was there for today's major announcement. She joins us now live from New Orleans East with the good news there. Christina. Well, Sala, Gail Benson said her late husband, Tom Benson, is smiling knowing that his dream is becoming a reality. She says that he would have been excited knowing that Dixie Beer is coming back home right here to New Orleans. And she says he also would have been excited about all the jobs that are expected to come along with it. <laughs> This project was so close to his heart. The former McFrugal building in New Orleans East will turn into this, the new and improved home for Dixie Beer, a promise the late Tom Benson and his wife Gail made to the people of New Orleans when they bought Dixie Brewing Company in 2017. This is a project that we have been working on for a number of years, and we are proud of the success we have. And by placing our brewery here, is something that Tom would have been so proud to see. The entire warehouse is 200,000 square feet. This area is where Dixie beer will actually be brewed. Right now there are 16 fermenters and if you combine two of them together, it's enough beer to fill an Olympic sized pool. The other area of the building is the part you get to enjoy. Uh, beer gardens, uh, music venues, stage, uh, food court. Mrs. Benson says she is so honored to play a part in creating jobs within the community. Many of the leaders at Tuesday's announcement called this a catalyst for economic development. There's going to be opportunities for brewmasters, delivery truck drivers, chemists, folks in marketing, folks in finance. Who that say they're going to drink that Dixie? Who that? You can just feel all the excitement there just based on that last sound bite. Now, as of right now, there is no set time frame on when all of this is expected to open. As soon as we get that info, you can count on us to let you know. But Mrs. Benson did say when it does happen, she expects it will have a significant impact on the entire city. We're live in New Orleans East. Christina Watkins, WDSU News. That's exciting.